Do you have kleptomania when playing video games? Are you the sort of player who will hoard items for later, but unlike me, actually end up using them at some point? Do you just love to steal stuff in games in general? If you said yes to any of my inquiries, I have the guide for you. How yin's doing? I'm an Ian, and this is a Streets of Rogue character guide series where we look at every character, see what they're good at, what they're bad at, and most importantly, if they are right for you. Today, as you could tell by reading the title and thumbnail of the video, we'll be covering the thief. So without further ado, let's get into it. We shall start with the thief's backstory. Ahem. Pretty much the worst thief who has ever lived. Actually dresses in stereotypical burglar garb. Ridiculous. This was done out of tremendous insecurities. They thought it would make them feel more like a professional criminal. It didn't. Will the thief ever conquer their imposter syndrome? Given how the thief has a cornucopia of thief tools in their starting inventory, I'm gonna go with no. Speaking of your starting inventory, you start with a crowbar, which is useful for when you want to open something without creating so much noise that the person in the other room hears what's going on and comes to investigate, or to bludgeon people to death because you forgot to use the crowbar to do things quietly so people in the other room wouldn't come in to investigate. You also start with three lockpicks, because while you can punch wooden doors down, this causes a lot of noise and you can't always fight off the police. In addition, you have three safe busters, very self-explanatory items they are. They open safes. These are perfect for when you found a way into the safe room, only to realize the guards have the key and you don't want to fight them. Additionally, you have three window cutters, great for when you want to turn a window into a doorway or if you don't feel like hurting yourself on broken glass. But wait, there's more! You have three cardboard boxes, great for when you want to be like Solid Snake and sneak around without getting jumped by building security. And last and certainly not least, you have not one, not two, but five wall bypassers. These are one-time use consumables that let you blink through walls. Combine these things with the safe busters and robbing a bank will become trivially easy. And should you run out of any of these items, you can restock them at the local loadout o or you can talk to other thieves thanks to your Honor Amongst Thieves trait. This even applies to clones of yourself. And just like the regular thieves that spawn naturally, the clones of yourself can end up having items that you won't necessarily have in your starting inventory, such as body swappers. How on earth that's supposed to work is beyond me, but I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, are you? Speaking of the cloning machines, remember that you don't necessarily want to clone yourself every time you see one. Depending on the situation you find yourself in, it might be more beneficial to clone other items such as health packs or gigantizers. And you're gonna need to rely on the vending machines a whole heck of a lot when you're playing the thief because of your suspicious trait, meaning normal shopkeeps will not sell to you. In fact, if they see you, they will politely but firmly ask you to leave. Thankfully, however, you have the slippery target trait, so when they decide they've had enough of your crap and start shooting at you, they'll find landing their shots harder than normal. Especially since you have a maxed out 4 in speed, meaning you'll be able to outrun just about anything that doesn't have some sort of trick up its sleeve, such as the lockdowns in Uptown. Sadly, however, your endurance is a pathetic 1, so if you don't learn to bob and weave around gunfire, you're almost certain to take more damage than you can afford most of the time. Thankfully, your other stats are an average of 2, so it's not a complete wash. Especially since you're, if you're ever short on cash, you can just yoink some from those around you with your special ability, Sticky Glove. The Sticky Glove special ability of the thief allows you to steal a stuff from NPCs' inventories at random so long as you're behind them. Just be sure no one sees you do this when you do so, because some NPCs will turn hostile if they see you do this, even if you're stealing from someone else. The item you yoink from someone's inventory is more or less random, so you might have to steal from someone multiple times in order to get the specific item you wanted. I recommend targeting slum dwellers above other NPCs, since they tend to have very few people coming to help them when you get caught, and more importantly, they almost always have some cash on them. Still, when you're playing the thief, you'll often find yourself stealing items you have no practical use for, so be sure to hunt down the cell medic on every floor in order to make sure your inventory doesn't get too bloated. Speaking of bloating your inventory to the point where you can't pick up more stuff, let's move on to your big quest. The rogue can stay dead. It's better for everyone this way. Your big quest is called Undiscerning Looting. In this quest, you need to loot a set number of chests and or safes before moving to the next floor. According to the wiki, the exact number is somewhere between 3 to 5 containers, but in my experience, it's usually 2 to 3 depending on how the floor generates. Rest assured that the number of containers you need to loot in order to complete this quest will always be equal or lower than the number that actually spawn on a given floor. 
Usually there will be more containers to steal from than is needed to complete this big quest, so keep that in mind since you don't want to waste your time grabbing potentially useless items that you won't need when you could have saved your wall bypassers and window cutters in order to get around uptown lockdowns more easily. Since this quest will involve you grabbing more stuff than you could possibly use on a given run, I recommend grabbing the GPS trait if you can in order to make finding the Cellomatic easier, as well as the other vending machines since shopkeepers sure as hell won't be doing business with you. And traits like blends in nicely and graceful can be quite useful for those of you who are trying to sneak around building security in order to loot items successfully. Which I strongly recommend doing because when you have only one in endurance, your durability is comparable to a wet paper towel. Sure, a stiff breeze isn't going to destroy you, but realistically any a serious attempt on your life almost certainly will. Combine this with the fact that your big quest will result in you having more stuff in your inventory than you'll know what to do with, and I strongly recommend just using any item you can to avoid taking damage at every opportunity to get stuff done. And since you can pickpocket NPCs for all the money you could possibly need on a given run, you can realistically restock on any thief tools you're running low on at a local cellomatic or via other thieves that may or may not have come from a cloning booth. So it's best to use the items you got from chests and mission rewards liberally, since realistically you're gonna run out of inventory if you try to hold on to them for later. Trust me when I say that, I am speaking from experience. All in all, I give the thief an inventory management out of 10. With your special ability and big quest working together, you'll find your inventory filling up faster than it would with other characters, so you'll have to constantly be trying to figure out how to empty out slots in order to pick up new stuff as you go through the various floors. As a result, you'll probably be using consumables far more liberally than you would otherwise in this game. That's all for now though, like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, comment what you want to see me cover in the future, I've been an Ian, you have been you, and this has been the Streets of Rogue Character Guide to The Thief. And stay tuned, the soldier is coming up next.